we're going to be trying to beat the hardest game mode in Balloon's Tower Defense, Shimps. Except every single tower only shoots eight projectiles in a random direction. For example, if I just put down a tax shooter, it will now just shoot its projectiles in random directions. Look at that. Wait, what? And it can only ever shoot eight projectiles. I can get as many attacks as I want, but it'll only ever shoot eight. But the bonus is dart monkeys also shoot eight. But again, completely random directions. Will we be able to beat chimps? Uh, let's find out. To make things even more fun, we're going to be playing on the expert map, Dark Castle. Who is someone that could take advantage of having eight projectiles? Oh my gosh, Obin. Oh my gosh, Obin's going to be so good. All right, chimps. Oh no. Who do we even start with? Who is someone that... I, I think monkey sub might be the best one to start with, right? Because this is normally what you do. So we start with a monkey sub. And I think, because look, if you start with this... Look, oh my gosh, there's so many projectiles that get spawned in. That is gnarly. This might be very easy if we use the right towers. I think certain towers, especially homing-based towers, are going to be crazy. I can't even imagine thinking what Oban's going to be like. I bet Oban's going to be crazy, which we can now already grab Oban. So let's go ahead and get o Oh my gosh. Oban's going to be insane. Look at him. Boom. Boom, boom. He has eight homing projectiles. So he's basically eight times as good. Okay, what else can we take advantage of, you think? What would be something that's going to be really good? I think druids are going to be worse. Because druids already shoot five projectiles. And so it's going to just shoot them in random directions, right? Wait, what in the world do you think a dartling gunner is going to do? I have so many questions. What if we put a dartling gunner right here? Oh my gosh, that is crazy. Okay, let's just lock this guy in place right here. And now he just has a ton of projectiles that are just always shooting out. We definitely need to get Hydra Rocket Pods on this guy. I think that's going to be something that is going to be really solid and very important that we get our hands on. We need to be able to hit lead camos. We also want to be preparing for late game as well because we have to remember this is chimps. And one wrong move will leave us with a loss, a huge loss. On this map, you normally get Spike Factory. Is Spike Factory just crazy? That is definitely eight piles of spikes, I think. Okay, we need to upgrade this and just get bigger stacks and then white hot spikes so we can hit lead balloons. And then we should be able to hit every type of balloon, which would be very nice. Just in case we miss something or something kind of just sneaks on by while we're not paying attention. I'd rather not have to completely restart. But even though... Oh, see, there we go. The camo balloon just came up just in the nick of time. We can get long range, smart spikes. Let's put it on smart so we can have those ready to go. Do we want to get long life spikes? I want to get long life spikes. Cost $1,500, but I think if I have those, I would just, I'll just feel way more confident. Like I'll just feel way better knowing that we have that. Some balloons are actually kind of getting a little bit far. I feel like the Darling Gunner is so solid here, right? What else is something that has for homing projectiles that could be really useful? Ninja's not bad, but they they get crazy stuff anyways. So I guess just base ninja with seeking shuriken could be really worthwhile. But is there any... What do we want to really try to make money for, right? Like, what is going to be something that... Oh, oh, wait, no. Oh, my gosh. I panicked because of the camo. But we're okay. I could just... Let me just get advanced targeting and focus firing. Faster barrel spin. And then eventually, I would love to get some Hydra Rocket Pods. I think that's going to be a huge thing for us to get. I love this mod. It's so wacky how everything just shoots out. Just Because, again, it never shoots in the same direction. So it's always mixing it up and trying out something different. Let's just get advanced intel on the sub so this guy's firing away. And, I mean, he shoots eight darts anyway. So I don't think twin guns or triple guns means anything, right? So I think, actually, he wait, does he shoot at eight ballistic missiles? Wait, was that eight ballistic missiles? Look, wait, wait, wait. I can't tell. I have no idea. It sounds very explosion-y. Does that make sense? It sounds more explosion-y than normal. Either way, we're about to go up against a Moab here, and I'm a little bit worried. I don't, I'm actually not worried at all. I'm pretty happy with this tag, or tag in this bike factory. I named it Tag Shooter, and it always messes with me. Like, it always messes with me. Yeah, Monkey Sub, super, super goaded. Oh my gosh, that was nasty. That was so good how strong that was. I'm gonna get Hydra Rocket Pods. Just, yeah, look at how do you get... 
That is so strong. I'm actually going to remove these. I know. It's a lot of money. It's actually $4,000 to remove all of them. But I think that's kind of worth it. It's literally global. It's just Darling Gunner spraying out all over the place. But this is still not enough to beat on 100. We still have to have some... Wait, what is... Do we dare try to get Rocket Storm? What is Rocket Storm going to do? Is the ability going to be in all directions? Is that worth spending $5,000 on in an attempt to try to figure out figure out if that works or not? Wait, what am I thinking? Why don't we get a super monkey? If we can get a tech terror, I think we're going to be in the good the good zone. So we put you down. Oh my gosh. Okay, super range. Oh my gosh, the super monkey is cracked. Oh, the super monkey is cracked. And then if we get robo monkey, he double shoots. No. Oh, no. It's too powerful. Plasma Blast. I want to use Plasma Blast and then just absolutely destroy everything now. I kind of need a camo detection for it, though. Is it worth putting a village down? I guess I should get a... What the heck was that? Oh, my gosh. When the Plasma Monkey shoots, it literally just takes everything out. It takes everything everything out he does not hold back in the slightest that's too good i'm not gonna get an engineer monkey because if he's really too overpowered i don't want it to just completely break my game and there is a possibility of it completely breaking my game so i don't want that to be a thing all right round 60 bfb this is chimps this is chimps game mode and everything is being completely and utterly demolished all right let's try the rocket storm actually I want to see if the Rocket Storm works the way that I think the Rocket Storm is going to work. Does it? Oh, it does. Look, Rocket Storm just goes out. It just flowers out in a random direction. It's not that good. Ultra Juggernaut could be good. I guess Ultra Juggernaut wouldn't be that good specifically here. I also want to make sure we put you right there. We can just have our wall of trees up. Or our wall of bricks. I don't. What is it called? What is this level 12 called? Okay, it's called Wall of Trees, even though he's a mountain. But it's definitely not trees. That's a wall of mountains. Wizard monkey. I mean, so, wait, summon. Wait, time out. What in the world is Summon Phoenix gonna do? Okay, so if I put down. Let's put a, this guy here. Dragon's Breath. Summon Phoenix. What in the world is a Summon Phoenix gonna do? I'm so curious. Alright, Summon Phoenix. Does Summon Phoenix work? No, Summon Phoenix is just normal. Boo! I kind of want to try a bomb shooter now. Not that it really matters, but I, I'm going to get a bomb shooter. There's no way anything's ever going to get to the bomb shooter, though. But there we go. We have bigger bombs and heavy bombs. I don't know if this bomb shooter is ever even going to get a singular pop. Just because of how crazy powerful everything is. Especially this robo monkey. No, it's definitely better to have that locked there in case balloons do get through. Because there, look at this, so there is still a possibility that balloons get through. So I definitely shouldn't be, I need to make sure that I don't get overconfident here. Because I think overconfidence is exactly how I lose this. Everything should be okay now, but once we get past round 80, things are going to start getting a little bit more complicated. So I'm going to save up and get perma spike because I really like just having that backup, just knowing that we just have perma spikes, just in the background you know just waiting just chilling just making sure that nothing's gonna get by no shenanigans there's so many pretty colorful lights I, you know what i'm gonna do i'm turning down accessibility it's just a little bit too crazy friends that is way better and way more manageable all right we already have twenty thousand dollars we just need thirty two thousand dollars so another ten thousand dollars and we should be good all right how do we do against round 80 here I have yet to see this guy really do too much. I mean, we still got the Phoenix, which is amazing. We got round 81. I'm sure everything should be fine until we get up to the 90s. And that's when it's going to get a little bit scary. Perma spike, thank you. Okay, we have perma spikes, which I think is just going to be so nice. We can pretty much let everything by now. Wait, what is the, okay, I gotta find out what these do. What in the world do you think? Okay, Grape Shot, Hot Shot, Destroyer, Aircraft Carrier. What could, do you think that Aircraft Carrier does here? Does Aircraft Carrier, does all of the planes shoot randomly? 
I think the planes still just shoot normally, so it's not that good. It's not bad, but it's not great. All right, we have $8,000. What do I... Oh, look at the wizard. Okay, now you can kind of see him where he shoots in all directions. Not bad, but still not too crazy. Let's just put... Casually just put down a ninja with Seeking Shuriken. With Ninja Discipline and Sharp Shurikens. I mean, look at how much damage he does. We can get Caltrops and then also Flash Drops. I think he'll start doing some crazy damage here. I think he might have been... Oh, round 90. Oh, no. Things are going to start getting a little bit crazy. This is 74,000 pops. Okay, maybe... Maybe there's something to this aircraft carrier then. If it has 78,000 pops. Oh, wait. Glaive Ricochet. What am I doing with my life? Glaive Ricochet is going to be insane. Look at this. We get red hot rings and then more glaives. And then we just go ahead and get primary mentoring. Look at how strong this is going to be. He's going to be shooting out eight glaive ricochets. He's going to be melting towers. All right, refresh that. And now let's see how we do against round the dreaded round 95. Oh, no, they're not. It's not even getting there. It's not getting there. We're fine. We are fine. Let's go. Oh, we can get Tech Terror now? And so Tech Terror, Tech Terror almost has a million pops. The Super Monkey is definitely the best for this. Cause it's literally like, oh, the, the Super Monkey, but eight times as powerful. Like, and then you just boom, and then just use his ability. Yeah, that's so good. Do we have what it's, we can totally defeat a BAD too. I'm not too worried about the BAD. I think Crossbow Monkey could also be really goaded here. Because he has the crits, and now he's going to just be shooting in all different directions. How's our ninja? 17,000 pops. Not bad. Not bad for a ninja monkey. Boom! Use our ability. Nice. Yeah, it says he gives us money, but it, in fact, does not give us money. 99! And we're about to go up against round 100! Bum, bum, bum! Three, two, one... And we got it. Let's go. We beat it.